to the deaf who gained the ability to hear. What sound surprised you the most? My son got his first CI when he was 18 months. Pre-CI when he would get mad he would scream this high-pitched, brain-piercing scream that was beyond awful. About a week after activation his brother took his favorite car and out came the demon scream. He scared himself so badly that he pulled his CI off and started to cry. He never screamed like that again. A guy who went to my college talked about how, when he got his hearing he was surprised that lamps don't make noise. You flip the switch, the light comes on, no noise. He said that he thought for a minute that he'd lost his hearing again. My aunt didn't know that rain was so loud. Bilateral CIs here. I initially grew up with hearing aids, but they only do so much. They just act as an amplifier really. When I got the implants, I heard crickets for the first time. It was totally strange, and I went inside to get my parents, because there was a strange rattling clicking sound near my dog's kennel. They thought it was a rattlesnake, and were very cautious. My mom goes out, and comes back smiling, and tells me that I was just listening to crickets. Another bit, post implants, I was able to carry a conversation with someone without looking at them. It was so bizarre, and lead to an almost vulnerable feeling. I had a coworker who was in a similar boat, I think. When she was working here the first time around, we all had to remember to look at her when we spoke, and often got reminded. We had to have CC on when we watched videos. She came back, and worked with us for a little while later, but at that point, she'd had cochlears put in. Suddenly, if we said something, while not looking at her, or while eating or something, we wouldn't get a reminder, because she'd heard us, anyway. She had a little remote, and kept trying to find the best setting for certain people in certain places. She was all excited by it. She got them fairly late in life. 40s or 50s? I imagine some people just decide not to fool with it at that point, but she always hated not being able to hear well, and was emailing everyone excitedly when she got the go-ahead for surgery. When I first got my hearing aids in high school I didn't know the fire alarm in the girls bathroom made these wee little betters. Just to let you know it still worked. I was also so quiet my first day actually being able to hear all my friends cornered me after school ended to make sure I was okay. Needless to say they were also excited that I could hear too. That boiling water makes noise. Seriously, I was shocked. Even to this day I pick up different sounds all the time. Sometimes I have to take off my hearing aids, because all the noises give me headaches. Going to the movie theater is hard. I have to take off my hearing aids, so I can enjoy the movie, but then I miss out on 80% of the dialogue, unless the characters are facing the camera then I can read their lips. The first time I heard crickets chirping, I was like w what? This reminds me of having a 2 year old. They ask, what's that noise? Randomly all day, while I try to list and describe all the totally benign noises I hear. The wind, a bird, the fan in the other room, the neighbor's dog, a helicopter. Okay so this is not at all the same as being deaf. But I had a load of ear problems with chronic infections for several years as a youngster, and one day I had my ears microsuctioned. Afterwards, I walked out of the room and I realized I could suddenly hear all this amazing background noise. People walking in the corridor, the fan turning on the ceiling, the receptionist shuffling paper. It was incredible. In my 40s and still have chronic ear infections and still have tubes, as a matter of fact, and yeah, I can confirm, when your ears get cleaned out, it almost feels like you have super hearing for a little while. It's kind of neat. And for me, I get inverted eardrums a lot of the time, because the pressure in my head is all off. A mixture of sinus problems and eustachian and tube dysfunction. When it flares up, I lose a good chunk of my hearing, but don't really notice until someone tells me my stuff, be it music, TV, or speaking voice, are louder than normal. Then, I have to pop my eardrums back into place, kind of sort of, by pinching my nose and blowing. Hearing goes back to normal for a few hours days, until it happens again. Shrug it's miles, and miles from being deaf. But it's annoying regardless. Colon. I was so confused the first time I heard the rain pattering on the roof, or the sound of carpet when you move your foot. Oh, and loved hearing TUI birds singing outside. I was severely hearing impaired, 
and got my first set of hearing aids in second grade. The doctor's office was located in a football stadium, so the hallway was one long continuous oval shape. The doc told me to step out into the hall and see what new sounds I might hear. I stepped out and looked down the hall both ways and I heard something. A clickety clackety click clack echoing unbelievably off the walls. I couldn't see anything until the person came around the curve. High heels. The most surprising sound though. Was the sound of the world. When I walked outside I physically crouched down. Because of how loud it was. The collective sounds of the city. It was so loud I went back to the office. And told them I couldn't handle it. The world was too loud. I wanted it turned down. They told me I had to get used to it so we left. Many years later I got a digital set of hearing aids and they picked up on different sounds. When I got home I went out back, and my dog was looking up at something barking, and wouldn't stop, so I went to see what it was. I looked up and there were about a hundred little black birds sitting on the wires and suddenly the sound came in. I was amazed. I looked up for so long it hurt my neck. The sound was one big one at first, and then I started to hear individual tweets. I couldn't believe such little things could make such big noise, and considering how loud it seemed to be I couldn't believe I hadn't heard it before. My cousin got hearing aids when he was 31 or 32, and for the most part didn't need them for day to day life. He got scarring from ear tubes when he was very little, and just didn't know there were sounds he was missing his whole life. This mostly presented itself in not hearing higher ranges, like his mom, sisters and girlfriends voices, who they just assumed he was ignoring. He actually couldn't hear them talking a lot of the time. The thing that wasn't surprising, but is more annoying to him now are potato chip bags and the sound of his coat swishing as he walks. Edit. He also just told me he had no idea zip has made noise, and he was scared driving down the road, because bumps were much louder, and snow crunching under shoes was the coolest thing he remembers first hearing. Interesting question. I had hearing aids since age 1, until I couldn't hear anymore by 28 after a head injury. I spent the next 5 years just resting my ears in silence and getting used to it. Then I got a cochlear implant at 33. The first thing I heard was my autistic nephew's voice. Realizing how kids actually sound and not just how I thought they sounded from a lip reading perspective. The sound that surprised me the most was laughter. You can see someone laughing and lip reading, but you cannot really begin to guess what their laugh sounds like. I forgot how unique people's laughs are, and how laughter is also sort of a hearing culture aspect verbally. You aren't just seeing a smile, you are hearing a smile from across the room. All the times I couldn't hear and saw someone smiling, I realized they could have been laughing as well. I just couldn't hear it, or recognize it as a communication tool of expression. My fiance has severe hearing loss. He got hearing aids for the first time in his life last year, in his 20s. One of the things he said that stuck out to me is that he didn't realize birds make this constant background noise, even when you're indoors. He also gets really flustered and asks me when there's a noise he can't identify. Sometimes it's cars going by outside or something simple, other times it's something that I can't figure out either, and he always looks slightly panicked when that's the case. But living with someone who can't hear very well has also given me a lot of insight into how lucky I am that I can and assist it, as well as how much of the world revolves around sound and the unique difficulties not being able to hear presence. Every day is an eye-opening adventure, tbh. One thing I'm sad about, though, is that I feel like he can't really enjoy music the way I do. Hearing aids aren't perfect, and I know he misses out on a lot of sounds that make some songs very pleasing or interesting to listen to. According to his reactions, a lot of music that isn't simplistic sounds screechy, and most background noises in music irritate him. Close lie related, but I work at a board game cafe, and one of my regulars had a severely diminished sense of smell test. When he was about 20 the doctors found that it wasn't because that bit of his brain was underdeveloped, but because there was a tiny tiny growth putting pressure on it. They easily removed it, and he went nuts trying every combination of coffee flavorings and tea for months afterwards. Weird stuff. Maple and caramel. Peppermint and coconut. A childhood friend got hearing aids at age 13, 
and was fascinated by all sorts of things that he found out made noise, but what totally cracked him up one day was the squeaky floorboards in his house. The idea that just walking around and having the floor squeak in random spots just had him rolling with laughter. I waited way too long to get hearing aids. First time I flushed the toilet, it was so loud I panicked and ran out of the bathroom. I have bilateral cochlear implants. The most surprising sound to me had to be the world's music, birds, or maybe that's just the drones beeping. My mom was very surprised at how turkeys sounded. Not sure what she expected, but evidently not the regular gobble. Not me. This was asked before, and a guy posted that he thought it was weird sunshine made no noise at all. He thought it would have a hum or something. Not completely deaf, but a profound loss. When I first got my aids the sound of my hair drove me nuts, and was very surprised how loud my pee was streaming into the toilet. The sound of silence. No, I'm kidding. But I did have a friend who regained his hearing, and he said that the weirdest sounds always came from birds. He said for a while it was difficult to drown them out as he went about his days. I have ADHD, and most birds are okay, but mocking birds actually throw me into complete emotional deregulation. Not sure if I also have misophonia, but I've had nervous breakdowns over the noise during certain times of year. Not violent, just uncontrollable crying fits. Most days, I wish I could turn off everything but the occasional song or voice, maybe a game or two, but the noise is overwhelming have to watch things with subtitles because of the background music or turn the music down to 30% in game. Totally get it. I've had great hearing my entire life, but 94, 95% of the noise in the world is just unnecessary after you've heard it once. Edit. Wanted to share a resounding, reverberating, ear piercing thank you for all of the comments and joking around. ADHD has been a lonely, isolating experience. Your comments make me hopeful that one day I can sit down with average people and feel average too. Even if I talk too much or struggle to stay engaged or blurt out awkward comments. I've made a ton of progress in two years. My biggest goals are to finally kick the cigarettes and not scare a guy off on the first date. If I can make it there, I'm set. Thanks for the feedback on sensory issues and autism as well. I've made notes on a few suggestions and will follow up with my psychiatrist if the behavioral work I'm doing now doesn't help with these issues. Feedback is always great for us. As my workbook points out, ADHD is largely a problem with not using what you know when you need it. I wish I could broadcast this to the world. Help me help myself. I may have questions. I may have trouble understanding why something arbitrary to me isn't arbitrary to others. But every step taken is a step forward, even when they feel a little backward. So I guess this is sort of the reverse, a person being surprised by something a sort of deaf person heard. I was born around 60% deaf, and had chronic ear infections, until I was 3. Around 14 months old I got tubes put in, and it was then, that my doctor and my parents realized I hadn't been hearing very well. Anyway, some time after getting the tubes, my mom is futzing around the kitchen, while I'm sitting on the floor playing with toys. Behind my back she makes a startling noise like, dropping a pot into the sink, or knocking something over, whatever it was it made a clatter. I whip my head around to look at her, and the source of the noise and it completely spooked her. She had never seen me react to any type of noise or sound before. I obviously don't remember any of this as I was a toddler, but, I heard the story many times. My daughter was very hard of hearing due to glue ear. When she was 4 she had grommets placed to drain the fluid. She woke me up at sunrise the morning after the operation cause she could hear the birds outside. It was a bittersweet moment for me as I was pleased to see the look of joy on her face, but greatly saddened that I hadn't realized how bad her hearing had been for her whole life so far. She also come to realize she hates ambulances and loud motorbikes. Oh. I have a great story. Friend's sister was very hard of hearing, nearly deaf. She got cochlear implants. At work I was asked to help her pair her implants with the her new phone, because they are freaking bluetooth. While I'm doing this she is happily telling me how sensitive they are I can hear paper. She had no idea paper sliding on paper made a noise. She then told me she could hear her hand sliding on the wall, 
and how cats annoyed her, because sometimes they made a sound, but sometimes they just made the action but no sound. But then out of the blue she says what's weirdies, boobs don't make noise, you really think they would. I lost it, I cracked up. Not directly related, but people who are born blind, or go blind soon after birth, and then through surgery gain sight are one of the populations with the highest suicide rates. They have no framework to process all of the visual stimuli. They know what a fork feels like, but have no concept of what it looks like for example. Now imagine this for literally everything. The sheer volume of visual stimulation is overwhelming, and they struggle to process it and cope. Yes it is very very interesting what actually happens to people who gain sight versus the Hollywood version. It's actually incredibly traumatic, and if your brain develops without sight, then you will never ever catch up. The brain develops with input from the eyes, and without that input, your brain just does not develop the systems for processing what you see. It's actually horrifying for people who were born blind, or went blind at a very young age to regain their sight. My ex-girlfriend was born deaf, so she had never registered sound. I was one of the lucky people who got to see her experience it for the first time. She was astonished at all the different things that made sound. She always thought that air conditioning must be silent, since you can't see air. She also thought that you could hear yourself blink. I also remember seeing her jump at the slightest noises, such as settling a pan on the kitchen countertop. But she was obsessed with laughter. She said it made her start laughing whenever she heard anything that sounds like laughing. She would literally tickle herself just to hear herself laugh. The reason she had for her obsession was that she never knew how unique laughter was to each person.